up? It's your girl, Abrina. I'm from San Diego, California. I live in LA, been hustling up there, trying to do my music. I do R&B, pop music, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Yeah, so I was going back and forth, like, three times a week from San Diego to LA. And it's not too far, but when traffic hits, it's like the worst. So I just, I started working with producers. I first started working with Mini Mafia, and then I started working with my manager. So everybody was kind of in LA. So it, like, everything was pulling me to LA. In San Diego, they have a wonderful music scene. Like, it's good places you can play and, and do shows. But it's like, if you really, really need to, like, work, and work on music, it's kind of like, I felt obligated, like I needed to go to LA. Yeah, I've grown so much since I made that transition. Um, it's like you grow as a person because you're in a total different, complete area. Things are going to challenge you. So it's like I had to become who I am real fast. I had to grow up. I had to build character. I had to be put through trials and tribulations. So it's like overall, I finally became who I was and became strong and figured out like exactly what I wanted. So it made me grow super fast. And then just musically and my artistry and my creativity, it allowed me to really like grow within myself and then get to this point where it's like I know my vision is so clear I know exactly what I'm doing and who I am so it was important like that transition to help all of that yeah so Jeremiah was actually the first person that I toured with back in the day and this was like this was right before I moved to LA actually and just moving around with him and he's crazy best he just gets so many women all the time don't say that to him no um I learned from him because he's such a great entertainer. He's a cool person. He's crazy talented. Um, and but since we toured together, we just stayed in contact. And then he, I showed him some new music, and we worked on worked on that song. We worked on a few other things too. So be on the lookout. <laughs> Arizona's always all love. Like I love coming out here. I definitely have done some great shows out here. Like opened up for some of my favorite people out here. Um, I actually opened up for like Juicy J out here, opened up for Baby Bash, so like a lot of like pretty big people and it's like seeing their fans and their fan base and like it's always just so much love out here, so it's always a good time. Yeah, well luckily my parents raised me on some good music, you know, they raised me on that good Rick James face, Stevie Wonder, Tina Marie, so I was able to sing along to that as I was growing up and I realized like man this is really kind of something I love and what I want to do and so when I was young I did like junior theater and dance class I was always performing I was like that young little girl like you couldn't get to shut up like okay so my family always was making me sing everywhere so I just kept growing and growing from that and vocally like the training and just always always loved singing I couldn't go without it so just as I grew I just kept growing as an artist yeah well I always I always try to speak this into existence like I really want to do a song with Kendrick Lamar like Kendrick's one of my favorite rappers he's just he's crazy right now he's one of the dopest out there right now so like I look up to him lyrically in every way possible so I definitely want to do a song with him and then I always say um, I always say I want to do a duet with The Weeknd the weekend is just dope. I've seen him perform and like his fan base is like a cult. Like they love him. So it's like if I could just tap into that, that'd be amazing. Very big family, whole big Latin family in San Diego. Um, and they are super supportive. Like every time I have a big show in San Diego, I come with a clan of like 40 people. Like all my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, everyone. But it's great having like that solid support system down there like they're always willing to help me like always willing to just just be there when I just need someone to vent to or talk to so it's great especially my parents like my parents are are like I think about it when I'm a parent it's like man my parents just the things that they've done for me and like the faith that they've showed me and support they've given me like I know that's hard for them because it's a risk it's a huge risk like all odds are against you you know that's hard being a parent and knowing your child's about to jump into an industry where literally it's one out of a million makes it so my parents are just amazing so hopefully that encourages other parents and lets your kids follow their dreams be those good parents um, I feel like that's a good way people can jump into my life and just 
hang out with me and see like my day to day and like that's important because it's a hustle and I'm independent like all this stuff like people don't understand is like me really really hustling it myself like I have a cool team of people that help me out but it's like you see me out there like that's really me like all me hustling so I want people just to see the life see the struggle like see the grind and just let that inspire them or like let them know what the real is <laughs> but yeah no that's definitely going to maintain I'm going to do a lot more of those um, I just like being free with my fashion. I like to, to do cool outfits that are like, I like to keep it hip hop, but then I don't want to just do like the urban streetwear stuff. Like I love that stuff. That's me every day. I love to rock some, some J's <laughs> and rock some accessories and just keep it moving. But I like to do a lot of different things. Like today I have this tight ass pencil skirt and like this, I think I got this from H and M or something. It's a little bit more, a little bit more sexy on the, on the proper side. You know, you'll see that side of me here and there. My little sophisticated side will come out once in a while. But for the most part, like I just love colors. I love to just be edgy with my fashion and not be in a box. So my new music, I'm just really trying to set the bar with everything. I want to bring to the table something different that people haven't really heard and people aren't used to hearing. I feel like everybody's doing the same type of music, which is great, it sounds dope, but I just feel like I want to really just stay with my like Mexican heritage and use a little bit of like my Latin flavor in my music, which I love doing. So I've been trying to sprinkle that in here and there. Not to the point where it's too much and I feel like I need to be singing in Spanish because I'm, I'm Mexican-American. So I want to do the music that I want to do, like that I hear in the clubs that I go to. So I'm just trying to do music that's like a good fusion, that's ambiguous, that's just a well-rounded genre of music that infuses hip-hop with like R&B and pop in Latin. So from here, we move into Houston, out there, gonna be working out there. Then from Houston, the Bay, after the Bay, um, definitely San Diego, then Hawaii. I'm looking forward to that Hawaii one. I miss the tropical. I'll tell you what, it's growing, but the reason why it's growing fast is because I have family members out there. You know, Mexicans multiply really fast. We even swim across the ocean to get to these islands out there. Um, so I have a bunch of family members out there and like a lot of my little cousins like they go to schools and stuff so they be telling their friends about me and everything and so it's been I've been seeing like more messages on my Facebook and Instagram from like people in Hawaii I'm like dang that's so cool I'm like I bet you they know my family out there but um, out there it's kind of cool because it's my first time they hired me to perform at a water park so I'm actually super excited about that so that's gonna be fun yeah, I think Instagram has been one of the most useful tools to me, and I see um, how I see the comments that people DM me and like will send me pictures and stuff, and it's like more uh, interactive with my fans, and it's something that I enjoy doing too. So I like to feed it a lot. But something also besides Instagram is Snapchat. Like I snap way more than I do anything. Like I snap a little too much. So I love Snapchatting. So add me, add Abrina Music. I'll be on there. But like people be sending me little snaps back and like chatting with me on Snapchat. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'm like, I like it. So no, it's both both those social medias are my favorite. Snapchatting and Instagram. Well, I mean, hey, there's a lot to remember there. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep this PG-13 or if we want to go the other side. Um, Man, it just, I tend to travel with some pretty crazy friends, so they just, they get a little wild. You know, you gotta watch the vlogs to see all that. Um, I mean, some of the, just the best moments is like if I'm performing for a crowd and like if people know my lyrics to my songs. Like that always will just throw me back. I'm like, oh my God, there are actually fans out there. Like, oh my God. Yeah, everything's all the same. I kept it easy for everybody. It's all at Abrina Music, A-B-R-I-N-A, M-U-S-I-C. Everything, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and my website is even abrinamusic.com. <laughs>